There are plenty of rules in games that make no sense, like the rule in GTA V that says I can't drive my car down the Del Perro Pier without getting yelled at. Ridiculous. But nowhere in video games are the rules you have to follow more peculiar than when it comes to stealth. Stealth games have a whole bunch of long-standing conventions and rules that, when you think about them, would never actually work. Trust us, if you're planning on a career as a cat burglar or stealth operative, don't put any stock in these techniques. Here then are the rules in stealth games that make no sense. Humans are creatures of habit. We have those things we do regularly, like brushing our teeth, eating certain meals at certain times, or crying out to the blood moon every fourth Sabbath for dark powers of vengeance. We've all done it. Enemies in stealth games are no less habitual. Although they'll often add to the disorder and chaos in the world by fighting for some kind of terrible regime or something, God forbid they change their patrol routes. <laughs> Instead of wandering around and sweeping a general area, patrolling guards will stick to one path, whether that be a continuous loop or going back and forth between two spots. It's weird they do this, bearing in mind that repeating the same 30 second patrol route over and over makes these guards incredibly easy to slip past or slip a knife into. Whatever feels right in the moment, you do you. And the robot dinosaurs in Horizon Zero Dawn aren't programmed any better, as they too stick to the same trail like a roller coaster, albeit a really slow one with lots of teeth. In real life, humans don't mindlessly hurry back and forth between two points, unless they're being shouted at by a personal trainer. So if you try to transfer the lessons learned here into real life, you'd quickly learn that it's a little more difficult to calculate the perfect opening for a sneak attack. Having eyes on the front of our heads has two main evolutionary advantages for humans. One, we have excellent depth perception. Two, we can wear sunglasses to look cool. That's a great price. One negative, however, is that our field of vision isn't as wide as animals that have eyes on the side of their heads, so we have to rely on our peripheral vision a bit more to see what's around us. To give you an idea of your peripheral vision in real life, the science team here at Outside Extra have an experiment that you can take part in now. Look directly forwards, hold your hands up either side of your head, and gradually move them backwards. Where you can no longer see them is the limit of your peripheral vision. Maybe don't try this if you're watching on public transport. Should have mentioned that sooner. This is not a gift possessed by NPCs in stealth games, however, where the infamous Cone of Vision restricts their view to a narrow wedge of space directly in front of them. This allows you to easily sneak up on an enemy from the side and ruin their day. Heck, even if you're right in front of an enemy, they won't see you sometimes, so long as this is one of those stealth games where the Cone of Vision also has a bizarrely short range. Spread out. Keep your eyes open. Sailing a massive infamous pirate ship through enemy waters? Don't worry, as long as you're not directly in front of enemy ships, they won't see you, even though you can spot them from miles away with your spyglass, and it is literally one dude on that ship's whole job to notice other ships. Oh boy, someone's getting fired. Out of a cannon. You can't stay hidden forever! Come out, wherever you are. One thing that you need to avoid when trying to stay out of sight is leaving any trace of you having been present, which is why many stealth legends rely on squirreling away their victims in foliage or stuffing people into various cuboid receptacles. Truly a master at work. But sometimes games don't let you move bodies out the way, or you simply don't have time to do it before they are discovered. At which point you think, oh no, I'm screwed, there is no way everyone is going to be chill about this. One of ours. <laughs> weapons free. Let's do a sweep. 
because in the real world, if a guard found a colleague had been brutally murdered and quite possibly undressed, everyone would immediately be on high alert forever and likely enrolled in several years of counselling. In games, however, most guards tend to calm down after just a few seconds, often on the strange assumption that you've probably gone by now. No sign of at this point, everyone just goes back to normal casual guard duties, often with the enemy you murdered still laying there. Why are you all suddenly so chill now? The killer is still in the room, dude! Someone you work with just got killed in your immediate vicinity less than five minutes ago. This is not healthy behaviour. You need to learn not only to confront your pain, but also to confront the person that murdered them and is totally still in the room, oh my god. <laughs> Hey, maybe we're being unfair and their confident assertion that the killer is gone is a clever lie. Nope. It's no use. Nobody there. Until next time. Maybe they just want you to think they've given up on looking for you, but if they think I'm going to fall for that, they are sorely mistaken and probably a bit sore after I do this to them. I told you the killer was still in the room. You should listen to me. The killer. Stealth games offer plenty of hiding spots, whether that be a shadowy corner, some bushy greenery, or a big pile of hay. But not all hiding spots are easy to see out of, whether that be because of camera angles, a load of hay, or the fact that the thing you're hiding in or behind is completely solid. So games offer you a way of seeing past these literal obstacles with the ability to peek. Where'd you run off to? Hiding from a terrifying monster behind a wall, but want to see where it might be? Well, you can peek your little noggin completely around a wall, and you won't be spotted. Yep, for some reason, a full human head poking around the corner is no concern to beasts or brutes you're hiding from. Maybe its vision is based on shoulders. But it's not just corners you can peek from. For example, we've already seen how great Agent 47 is at stuffing other people into boxes. But he's also great at stuffing himself into boxes, like a big cat. Weirdly enough, the fact that a box or wardrobe is not fully closed and has a man's entire head and torso peering out of the darkness does not immediately alert anyone who is walking nearby. That is Silvio Caruso. Just get out! I mean, these boxes are Agent 47 sized and you live in a universe with Agent 47. I would be checking every cupboard, closet, crate and fridge every time I walked into a room. Slightly less cute than when a cat does it, to be honest. Huh? A useful addition to any stealth fan's arsenal is a good distraction technique. For instance, while you've been watching this video, we've had Luke sneak into your kitchen and steal all your biscuits. There aren't any chocolate ones, Ellen. What? Oh, cheapskates. What? If you played a video game in the last 10 years, you'll know the scenario. As you make your way through an area, an enemy is facing an inconvenient direction, blocking your path, or heading right towards you and about to completely ruin your day. Never fear, you've got a literal throwaway ability. Just chuck a rock, coin, bottle, or anything that isn't nailed down to create a distraction. This gives you time to sneak around them while they're occupied or opens up the perfect opportunity to tiptoe up directly behind them and... Can't believe he fell for that. But NPCs often fall prey to simple throne distractions and for far longer than they should. You hear that? Now, a stupid shambling zombie might understandably scrabble around for the source of the noise for a good while. However, any human being, upon realising that something has been chucked into their vicinity, would surely start looking for the source of the projectile instead. Unlike this. Nothing after all. Probably rats into everything. 
At the very least, you'd think this trick would only work on someone once. Thanks to video game logic though, expect guards to fall for the same trick over and over. Have you just seen your pal walk towards a smash bottle only to get jumped by a tiny teenager from a totally different direction? Well, you better immediately walk towards the next sound of smash glass you hear and not check behind you at all. Are you sure your brains haven't been eaten away by mushrooms? One great ally of the stealth player is the chest high wall. It provides cover and you can still see over it with ease, even if crouching behind one for prolonged periods probably isn't great for your spine. However, some walls annoyingly go all the way to the ceiling, or at least they're tall enough to obscure our view. But don't worry player, video games have your back in the form of the improbable x-ray vision ability. To be fair, some games go out of their way to give an explanation for how a protagonist is able to see enemy positions clear as day through brickwork. For instance, Batman must have spent a batload of cash on his detective mode gadgetry, which remarkably sees through human skin, metal walls, and somehow not metal guns. Five of you! Five? What is wrong with you, idiot? Other games have some kind of mystical reason behind their protagonist being able to see through obstacles, whether that be Dishonored's dark vision given to you by the handsome wizard god The Outsider, or Assassin's Creed Eagle vision given to you by… I wanna say… eagles? Ancient aliens? Man, was I way off. Then there are the stealth games that don't even try to explain how you can see through brick and mortar. For example, are the heroes of the Far Cry series also imbued with special eagle powers? Because RJ Gale can still see any enemy once he's tagged them, whatever that means, even if they go behind cover. <laughs> We can assume Agent 47 had some kind of special serum injected into his eyeballs so that he can spot enemies in different rooms, because his stony stare can stare through stone. Needless to say, the real reason Agent 47 and so many other game heroes can see through walls is that the game would be sarcastically hard otherwise, but that doesn't mean this common stealth mechanic makes any sense at all. In the real world, staring hard at a wall gets you nothing but eye strain. I know, because my friend tried it, and after three hours I could no longer blink. I mean, he could no longer blink. Whatever. If you and your crime organisation are planning some crimes that would be really messed up by someone infiltrating your crime base, one thing you should probably invest in is a good security system. Sadly, all too many of them haven't made that investment, or if they did, they got it out the back of a van somewhere because hoo boy, these security systems suck. Some are a simple alarm system to call in reinforcements, but like my remodeled basement, they have deep flaws. For example, some can be used as a trap against their owners if you get to them first, so instead of calling for reinforcements to make your life much harder, they simply make the guard's life much shorter. A less harsh tampering of alarms simply renders them unable to call in help. Most IRL alarm systems will usually have some kind of failsafe in place if they're tampered with, so an alarm probably requires more work to disable than shooting it really hard. Game security cameras are even worse, as heroes are able to turn them offline before being spotted by them, and for some reason, the sudden loss of video feed doesn't alert the people watching on the other end. What does the security guard think is happening as the monitors all turn to static one by one? Their warranties all expired at once? Honestly, some people deserve to be put in a box.
So those are some of the stealth rules in games that don't make any sense. Why did we never question the cone of vision? Can you think of any other stealthy things that really just defy logic? If so, let us know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, there's every chance you will enjoy the other videos that we do on this channel. We do a lot of cool live streams. We do a lot of just hanging out, talking about games, playing games, sometimes not even playing a game, just talking of some nonsense. But if you liked this video, and if you enjoyed it, then we reckon you will enjoy those as well. So check them out and please do subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.